Good afternoon, Dr. Fathi. My name is Angie Luna. I'm here with my group, Group B. Uh, we are introducing the Panera Bread case study. And here with me, I have Sarah Giles, Julius Hurd, Inza Thomas, and Timothy Tapp. Panera Bread's company history and background started with founder Ron Scheich, who actually created the Aubon Pan Bakery, which was found in local malls and shopping centers and airports. On the vision of the bakery cafe, the bakery was a bakery cafe, and this was actually grown in the East Coast or on the East Coast in the area of St. Louis. During the 1990s, um, Aubon Pan acquired St. Louis Bread Company, which from that was birthed the fast casual concept. Um, and then Aubon Pan was sold and Panera Bread, it was renamed Panera Bread for National Growth. During the night, during the, 2000, the year of 2000, um, they continued to focus on guest experience, had more than 1,500 bakery cafes with 100% commitment to clean food. And then later this year, earlier this year in July, they were acquired by J.A.B. Holding Company. Porter's Five Forces, an analysis tool which uses five industry forces to determine the intensity of competition in an industry and its profitability level. The bargaining supplier power is considered low for near bread. The company travels the world to find the best quality and best price also, it has the capability of making their own bread. Um, the threat of new entrants is high. Competitors are constantly offering new products and low prices, and new restaurants are constantly entering the market. Buyer power is high. Consumers ultimately make their own decisions based on their preferences, price, and convenience. The threat of substitutions is also high. In addition to competitors, consumers can also make their own foods at home, such as bagels and some of the panini, uh, panini um, sandwiches. And also they're using um, other places to have that also have bakeries such as Einstein and Atlanta Bread Company. The competitive rivalry is high. In 2016, consumer spending is was um, in fast food was 281.9 million and rivalry will always be present in the food industry. This is Porter's Five Forces. All right, the SWOT analysis. The strengths of Panera Bread is the design of the restaurants. It's designed to be uh, like a fast food restaurant but with more upscale dining and uh, attraction to grasp more of uh, higher-end customers. Their performance in the recession was also a strength. Um, they actually continued to grow during the recession, but at a, sm a small rate. Um, their menu is one of their strengths due to the fact that they base their menu on their customers and have their allow for their input, which attracts more customers. They understand their, um, their customer base and their menu as well. That, that reflects that. Their diverse customer base is what they, they go after the more upscale and high-end people that want to dine, uh, dine in a nice, convenient restaurant. Uh, the weaknesses are their footprint, the area that they cover. They mostly cover the United States and Canada. Um, they haven't at, gone out to other countries. Um, they're only they're only attracted to large cities where there's a greater population, so they don't they don't get into smaller communities. Then they also have a thin profit margin. Um, due to the fact that they don't scale outside of the larger cities and they haven't gone outside the United States. Their opportunities are new markets, which could go into Europe and different countries like that. And then they also um, could go into the organic um, market where they could have more organic ingredients and grab more customers in that mindset. The threats are the number of competitors that they face. They face uh, com competition from small bakeries, on into uh, higher upscale bakeries like Atlanta Bread Company. Um, their supply chain is another threat due to the fact of um, any catastrophes or natural disasters of weather or anything like that could 
uh, with, with help of them being able to get their uh, supply of uh, fresh dough from their facilities that uh, make their dough. Then another threat is the wage, wages um, of different states with the uh, minimum wage being increased and threats of it being increased to $15 per hour. That could substantially hurt their profit margins in the future. These are the, this is the SWOT analysis of an air brick company. Their current strategy that they have used is introducing an approach called the concept essence, which focuses on handcrafted artisan bakery goods, um, high quality value priced foods that are similar in price to fast food, but higher quality, a diverse menu that will draw customers throughout the day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. Uh, focus on great customer service with an interior design that is inviting to customers and creating a dining experience that will produce custom loyal customers that keep coming back over and over again. For their options, the options that we're introducing is an uh, option to continue to follow the foodie trend that they have um, already been following with organic, paleo, and gluten-free options. Some new trends would be um, to introduce ethical eating, which reduces food food waste, has local sourcing of uh, vegetables and fruits, and uh, home cooking style food. Another option is to employ complementary strategies that support their current strategy. Continuous product innovation would, would really work here. It would help them to introduce food trends instead of follow them, uh, giving them a first mover advantage and competitive advantage. Um, for placing research on these food trends, they should continue to take get more juice out of their products by minimizing food waste, staying ahead of the trend, and introducing ethical eats, local and transparent sourcing of product, and more home cook style meals will help them to complement their current strategies. Looking at the financial, um, compared to two of their largest competitors, uh, Starbucks and McDonald's, um, as discussed, due to their small size, Panera tends to have lower overall revenue, uh, just due to the small number of bakery cafes that are in operation throughout the U.S. Um, they also tend to have much thinner profit margins, um, again, just due to their scale, as well as the uh, cost of the food and the lower prices that they try to sell at. However, one of the ways that Panera shines is from a stockholder perspective. Um, even though they are smaller and tend to make very thin profit margins, their earnings per share for stockholders um, is higher than McDonald's and Starbucks consistently since 2012. Um, and even though it dipped a little bit in 2015, has continued to rise going forward in the future. As of December 2016, Panera Bread now has over 2,000 company-owned and franchised um, stores. Um, they have 24 total supply chain facilities that make all of their dough for their bread and ship to their stores. They have an average of 9 million customers per week, which is up since 2013. Um, their Panera Bread Loyalty program has over 25 million members with approximately 51% of all transactions being linked to a My Panera member. They now have over 50,000 employees with total revenues growing by almost 20% since 2013. They have now met their goals of having no products with artificial preservatives, sweeteners, flavors, or colors. This was a goal that they set in 2013 to better serve their customers. Um, these are the updates of Panera Bread, and thank you for joining us for our presentation.